So, all right, here we go with a little bit of fishing stuff, or at least uh, some more modifications for the Harbor Freight uh, 1720 trailer. Um, I'm trying to remember if last time if I had the uh, tongue jack on, but it's on. I've got a spare tire carrier inside, but I haven't picked up a spare tire yet. I put these unistruts on so that I would have something to mount this four inch uh, PVC pipe to use for guide bunks for the fishing boats, but I could not get both boats set up on bunks like this the way it's set up. So what I'm going to have to do is get some two by four pads and lift this unistrut, where am I, lift the unistrut up an inch and a half then I can get both boats in the tubing out over the fender wells and uh, then I can put two boats on bunks I'm gonna have to buy two more pieces of four inch but uh, yeah that's not a big deal so my little thing today when we go to town is to get some longer bolts like uh, 3 8 3 8 inch by 3 or 2 and a half or 3 inch uh, then I'll just cut some uh, blocks out of two by four and I can, after I punch a hole through them, put them underneath the unistrut, lift those up. I got to swing by uh, one of the electrical suppliers and get uh, two more pieces of uh, four inch PVC. And that's electrical conduit, I believe. It's PVC conduit, 40, schedule 40 rigid. I'll just get two more pieces of that. And uh, then we can get both boats, which are under a tarp right now. We can get both fishing rigs on there, because now my wife's with me. She wants to go fishing, too. And if she doesn't take to the kayak experience, well, then I already have the bunks on the trailer, and I can put the 18-foot Grumman on there, and I will buy an electric motor for that. We'll have to register it, of course. But, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. And if we want to go cruising, out on a bigger water, we can always put the uh, touring kayaks on. They should fit on the bunks the same way. Should. We'll see. I haven't experimented with that. Those I can use the extender bed on the truck and uh, run those right up into the bed. Uh, that's, that's always a viable option. So, I'll be back when there's actually something to report. But uh, so far, I haven't gone anywhere with the trailer this year, and we got back, this today is July the 18th, I think, and, but uh, we got back June 26th, my wife has her immigration visa, so we finally, I was able to bring her home, and uh, we're happy about that, but uh, we haven't been out fishing, we've been waiting for decent weather, resting up after the grueling journey getting here from Ukraine, and uh, just basically trying to get settled in, trying to make sure she has the necessary things that girls need, or my particular girl needs, to uh, be comfortable and get settled in. And then we're also trying to get a house finished up so we can get moved in with a target of October. We'll see how that goes. For now, I just want to be able to land a few bass and maybe get some uh, white perch and uh, some crappie in the boat. And, um, yeah, and on the grill. We'll see how that works out. Okay, that's it for now. I'll be back later. Bye. Yeah, it would take a little bit of doing, but I finally got the Harbor Freight trailer set up to carry two kayaks. Got a lot more space than I thought I did. But uh, basically I had to take these two uh, PVC bunks and move them over. I had to take off the fenders. I could not. <laughs> uh, that's almost four inches of lift you know, with those uh, spacer blocks down there. Yeah, I already got the strap loose. Four inches of lift, that's three inches plus this, and uh, I still didn't have it up high enough to clear the fender, so I said screw it and took them off. And uh, don't need them anyway, but uh, yeah, got the boats. So I got these two moved over. I was going to buy two more of these pipes. This Schedule 40 EMT, 4 inch, I think he said it was $166 for two of them. Like $80 a piece. 
and uh, went across the street to a different place and these white drain cup pipes also a four inch I don't know what schedule they are but uh, they were like six or six dollars for two so 30 bucks a piece so we got that going got the Predator 13 nestled into our trailer good old Zara that's what I named my boat so I'm ready to go fishing all I gotta do is put the uh, crate on the back and uh, get the fish finder put back in and the battery which everything's inside and I got the Ellie Coast 120 getting, getting it rigged up for my wife I will be getting a couple of flush mount um, rod holders like these I'll be getting a couple of those to mount here and here and I might do a third one somewhere because I like this one tilts forward so after you catch the fish you get it boated you can put your fishing rod in there while you're working with your fish and <clears throat> you don't have hooks and fishing rods flopping all over the place because I'll probably step on them I almost have but uh, yeah we're all set we're ready to go the Coast 120 XE by Ellie which I believe is also a um, Pelican company or their own by com Pelican but um, yeah we're ready to go and my wife having never been in a kayak before should feel pretty solid in the Ellie later on when we decide to do a little bit more adventure she'll be in the Chinook the yellow one and uh, we'll see how that one goes but that's it for now. I just wanted to give you a good look. Uh, I mounted these new pipes the same as I did the other ones. I did a hole saw all the way through so that I could fit the socket. The uh, yeah, just went blank. The ratchet uh, socket extension uh, all the way down through the pipe and tighten it down without having to reach inside the pipe with a wrench and blah 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 blah. Anyway, everything's on there. She's looking good. We're ready to go fishing. Now all we're going to do is get the time to go fishing. Busy tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Busy tomorrow doing stuff. Saturday. I don't like to try to go onto the public waters on Saturdays. Simply because everybody else is already out there. So we may be looking at Monday or Tuesday before we can go out again. We shall see how that goes. Anyway, there's the big update on the Harbor Freight trailer modifications. Uh, the next thing I need to do is get a spare tire and uh, mount the uh, tire carrier up here. I can probably mount that so it tilts inside so the tire rides more in the middle here. That way we'll clear the boats. Seriously considering moving that jack to the inside so uh, I can clear that. But we've got good tongue weight. I can still lift it up, but we've got good tongue weight holding the... Uh, so they've got enough weight forward. So I'm not worried about things going whoopy tail on it it's only a 13 foot or uh, 12 foot kayak anyway okay gonna stop battling gonna take that strap down and call it a day bye <laughs>